Welcome back, folks. So, as you can see, I made some changes to our uh, zombie options here. Um, <clears throat> population modifier. <coughs> by default, starts at 1. I lowered it by 25%. So that's the uh, zombie count there. We also start set the start population uh, much lower. We set the peak population to be 2 months rather than, I think it was 28 days. Uh, respawn hours, by default, is 75, 72 hours for zombies to respawn in a cell. It is now 500 hours. I'm not sure if that's real-time hours or if it is in-game hours offhand, uh, but that's fine. Uh, follow sound distance, default is 100. I reduced it to 80, so if they hear a sound, uh, they're not going to walk towards it as much necessarily the group rallying size is 20 i think this was the problem here so we were having the size of zombies uh that they form an idol so uh if, if they're in you know what maybe i just put that at zero because i was thinking it is defaulted to 20 and i think that's why we were getting them so grouped up but if i put it at zero that means they're not going to form groups right so if they're not forming groups, I can actually work a little bit better. Let's remove that. And this is the distance they'll travel to form groups. And then this is the distance between zombie groups, which doesn't matter anymore. And now it doesn't matter either. So I think if we just remove their ability to have groups, I think that'll fix a lot of the problem. And so... <clears throat> Yeah, so I think before we had removed Inconspicuous and added Slow Reader, was that right? Or added Fast Reader? Which one was it? Where was... What was Fast Reader? Am I blind, folks? I feel like I'm blind. Former scout, herbalist, fast healer, cook, brawl, gymnastic, nutritionist, lucky, light eater, first aider. Um, yeah, am I just am I just blind here? I don't know if Dextrous is very helpful to us. I think we might get rid of Dextrous. Um, making less noise and be less spotted by zombies, I think is definitely helpful. Strong, we saw right off the bat how helpful that was. That was very helpful to have. Um, needing less sleep could be helpful. Oh, you know what? I probably can't see fast reader when slow reader is uh, triggered, right? That's probably the thing there. I just wish strong didn't take so many points, right? I could be deaf, but then I couldn't hear, like, hear stuff, right? Okay, you know what? What else is there that we could have here? Low loss of tiredness while sleeping. We could potentially do that, but that would just cut down on time that we have um let's see asthmatic faster endurance lost unlucky smoker people say smoker is kind of like a freebie so I, maybe i'll take that part of hearing gives me a smaller hearing range but is that really such a bad thing and decreased container inventory capacity. That might not be a bad thing to grab, but I don't I don't know. Weak stomach, higher chance of getting food illnesses. That's only if I were to eat bad food, right? Hmm. 
prone to becoming panicked, all thumbs, transfers take slower. I might as well take Sunday Driver, because Sunday Driver, uh, at this rate I'm never going to get a car anyway. So, let's see, what do we have for five points? Amateur Mechanic has highly detailed knowledge of common and commercial vehicle models and repairs, plus one of the mechanics, okay. I could also get, let's see, I could get Iron Gut, which less chance to have food illnesses, which I think is fine. I don't necessarily need that. <clears throat> but there's nothing that costs like one, right? Okay, um... Better vision at night, transfer things faster, not affected by hearth weather, weather, fishing, long blunt, less panicked, that, gardening, I guess we can just go lucky, then I'll remove slow driver since I don't have a use for that. I think lucky was really helping us when it came to looting stuff. Um, I'm going to real quick save this as my default. Let's load up our boy. Hit play. All right. So, with any luck, we'll survive a little bit better here. Now, some of you might be thinking, since I've adjusted the difficulty and stuff, making it harder for zombies to group up and whatnot, that, oh, I should just get good. But it's hard to get good when you're just constantly dying, right? And to figure out, you know, what I'm doing first and whatnot. So, you know, I kind of had to put the training wheels on, as they say, in order to, you know, do my thing. All right. So where did we start this time? Down here. I think this is actually where we started the very first time. The car out front this time, though. All right. Let's loot. Take what we can. Can opener. over here. Ooh, that was a water bottle. That will definitely come in handy. We need that. Frying pan. I'll equip it for now, but hopefully we can find something better. We have a bread knife, a empty mug, that kind of stuff. That's fine. I don't think I'll be using that right away. Is this just the back door? It is, but it leads us to a washing machine. Very least. Okay. That's just that area. What do we got for books here? First Aid Volume 2, I'll take that. The Dog Goblin. Doesn't say it gives me anything. Let's take this red pen. Uh, we have that. We can mark down the map. Various things. What do we got here? Farming Volume 1 and 2. Nice. And then Cooking Volume 5. Ooh, even better. Or the other shelf. Just books? Okay. Let's see. We have nothing there. We'll grab these. And we have a couple of sheets. We'll take them. Use those to kind of hide our position, as we know. Am I wearing a belt? I don't know. Let's go ahead and rip these into cloth while I have the time. Because as we learned last time, one of my problems was that I didn't have a... Uh, patches when I needed them, so let's get our first aid stuff uh, working here first. Okay, so I did have, already have a belt. Can I do anything with the belt, like turn it into anything? Nope, okay. Last room of this house. Oh, look, it's raining. Okay, let's go see if we can... Uh... Is that a door right here? What is? A whole metal pipe! Hallelujah. yeah. I think compared to the frying pan, that's even better. Nice. Okay. Do that. I'll hold on to the frying pan for now. 
Just in case we don't find anything else decent, but we'll see. All right, let's take a look at this car. It does have some damage to the door there, but oh my god, it has gas. Everything looks good. Is it locked or what's going on there? I guess it's locked. We have a tote bag. Hmm. I don't see any keys on the ground. Dang, I got really lucky with that taxi in the fire truck, huh? That is that just a crack in the ground there? Looks like it. We got a couple plastic bags. Nice. Regular tire standard, huh? Another empty bottle. Nice. <clears throat> I will take one of these bags. And I'm going to equip that with secondary. I'm going to go ahead and put the books and stuff into it. also put this other stuff into it as well. Frying pan too, why not? Okay. Let's see, is this unlocked? It's not. How's the condition of this vehicle? I mean, it can't be better than the last one, right? It's about the same. We could siphon some gas out of this one, put it in the other one. Other one had more gas though. I suppose we'll find the owner of the car in here somewhere. We got here. Flashlight. Electronics volume one. Nice. Screwdriver. Nice. Let's go ahead and equip that to our left belt. We have fishing volume two. Mechanics volume one. Take that. What do we got in here? Muffin tray. Ooh, we could make muffins. I keep getting caught on stuff. Ooh, a meat cleaver. It doesn't do much damage, though. I think we'll pass on that for right now. Let's grab the granola bar. Um, let's grab the chocolate and the cereal. That way I can hold on to that stuff. I'll add what I can into the plastic bag here. We're getting really lucky here. In terms of the material we're getting. I could add the, the other stuff here as well, but I don't want to take necessarily everything that we have. What about the fridge? What do you got in the fridge and stuff? Ooh, eggplants, all that good stuff. Nice, nice. Okay. And through here, there should be these things. Military green camo shirt, huh? Wear that. Go ahead and uh, wear that with hood up. And then I'll rip apart this clothing. Perfect. Got some socks in here. Go ahead and wear the long socks. I already have those, huh? Okay, well, let's rip those apart. I can rip those too. Perfect. Getting up on our uh, sheets. Good there. Oh, goddamn, there was a person, a uh, dead body here the whole time. Oh, sh what the fuck? Ain't no way. That's just a key. No round in the chamber bracket. I don't know what that means exactly, but we do have a pistol now. However, I'm not an idiot and we're not going to use it immediately. Um, Can I scrap any of this? 
going to give us dirty rags, but it's better than nothing right now. We got a dead mouse, rubber duck, lipstick, foundation makeup, hairspray. All right. <laughs> Head upstairs. We will drown here. Nothing that we need here. Next room. Pretty much also nothing. I think we got really lucky just finding that that pistol out there, but that's kind of like a last resort sort of thing. We don't really have... I'll take this needle. Go ahead and rip that up. It can be used as an improvised bandage. I don't know. I need to take those. That's just extra stuff I'm carrying, right? All right, we have tweezers. Perfect. Painkillers. That'll help a lot. We can take those in order to get to bed if we need to. And then the last room. That's uh, I got a briefcase. Ooh. Not bad. What about the other side? Uh, just a belt. Okay. There. All right, so that's this house looted. We're not doing too bad on weight yet. Surprised we found a dead zombie there. Okay. Um, the key I got, I don't know what it's for, but let's try this. No, not for that. Okay, of course it wouldn't be for that. That'd be too easy, right? I think I'll go ahead and just close that for right now. Um, hmm. So where are we at now? here. Let's move up the street this way. I think that's what I want to do right now. It's still day one of the apocalypse, so we're seeing almost no zombies here, which is really nice. Oh, there's our first victim. Let's try and take him out without too much problem. Excellent. Do they have a digital watch? They do. I'll take that from you. Thank you very much. Okay. Go ahead and rip up all this clothing, too. <laughs> Alright, yeah. We definitely kill zombies a lot faster when we're not, you know, injured. Get out of the... Locked. Okay. What about the windows? Perfect. Electrician Volume 1. Excellent. Crap. There's a zombie there. Let's see if he comes towards us. Yep, they did. Okay. So let's open the window. And then I'll just kind of bash your brains in one hit, I guess. Excellent. That works for me. Animal underpants, huh? She had a key on her. Don't know what it's for, but I'll take it. Okay, let's head over to the kitchen here. Let's see what we got. We can eat some fruit or something that we have in there. It'd be a good thing to do at the moment. Um, let's see. This stuff can last. It's not a uh, perishable. I think we're gonna leave that stuff there. Let's look at the fridge. So we have carrots. I was gonna eat a carrot. Hopefully that'll get me from peckish to uh, normal. It will. Oh, I just want to eat another, uh, another thing. See if I can get full. There we go. Okay, what else do we have here? A bunch of canned food, which is good. Uh, griddle pan. <laughs> Cocoa powder. Excellent. All right. Oh, they got a TV upstairs or something. 
Um, device options. Turn off. No. That's just gonna lure zombies if they hear it, so we don't want that on. Alright, um, what do we have in here? A bunch of nothing there, and then... Ooh, jackpot when it comes to first aid stuff. Give me all of that. Okay. And then we have just this area, okay. Not the greatest, but also not the worst. We got a lot of first aid stuff this time around. That's really nice. Um, okay. So if we... I think if we're in the same area, up here is where some of those more industrial buildings were at. Um, it might be worth considering taking one of these houses as our place of residence and just sort of moving in, one would say. Oh, duffel bag. Let's go. There we go, baby. Okay. I'm going to put what we can, I guess, in the duffel bag. Um, I can just drop this wristwatch. I don't need it. The needles, the painkiller, because I'm not going to be using painkillers when I'm out and about. Thread and tweezers. We can go ahead and put them away. All right, let's go back to the sink. I can figure out how to get back out of here. <laughs> Jesus. Let's fill up our empty water bottles. Fill. Fill all. And then I think I also have a rags. Some rags that I need to clean up here. <clears throat> Perfect. And then let's just drink while we're at it. All right. So let's check out this house up here. We might make that one our base. We'll see what happens. Ideally, something that has like uh, some good stuff on the second floor is what I'm looking for. But, uh, we'll see. Let's see if we can loot this corpse over here. I can just kind of wander on through these bushes. Black pants, man, shocks, drop top worn. Okay, I'm not gonna scrap them. What's really nice is these tall fences uh, provide a lot of security. So that means the enemy can only come from this side, right? They also have a car in their thing. Okay. Ooh. I keep closing doors when I'm trying to get through them first. All right, I sort of want to secure the area before I loot. Go ahead and turn this radio off so we're not drawing any unruly visitors. That's what I said. Clear the top floor. Okay. Just a storage room and that's empty. That's a nice bedroom. I think we'll take this place. It'd be better if there was a TV up here. Can we move? I wonder if we can move the TV. If we can move it up here into the bedroom. Do they actually have a TV? I didn't notice. They do. Um. It would be really nice to be able to pick this up. And move it. I really don't want to have it in here. Oh. Here, buddy. Want to just wanna die for me? There you go. I think I was actually I'm dying, so that's perfect. Uh, no keys. Okay. Ooh, ooh, we're inside. No keys for it though. Unfortunate. Um, we do have basically every map though. God dang. I'm gonna go ahead and take these bandages. Take the adhesive tape, put that in there. Uh, oh, the key's here! 
Holy shit, no way. That's beautiful for us. Okay, let's read this map. That's Riverside. We have the Louisville map. And we have an annotated map. Community center, you'll find my body here. I love you. If you can make it before you turn, there's something here to help. Wish to God you'd never been stationed here. Happy memories, though. If I can get here, there's stuff there. And there's community center there. Okay. So I, I have a key for this now. Um, I think I'll hold on to it for now, though. And let's open up the map. Where was that stuff at? So I think... Was this the annotated map down here? Yeah. Okay, so if I can get to that building, I'll have some stuff. But, potentially, who really knows. What else is in here? Rubber band, twine. I'll take the twine, why not? Might as well just kind of clear stuff out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get everything out of the uh, SUV here. Uh, let's check it out, see if it's uh, in running condition. If it is, we're in business, baby. Oh my god! Damn near perfect. A couple of the seats are bad, but other than that, we've got a great amount of fuel in it. What do we have in the back? The lock is broken. Oh no. Is there a way to like fix that? That's a huge problem if that's the case. Okay, well. I'm gonna head back inside. I'm gonna close these doors after me because I'm apparently a barbarian. That's that shit. All right. So I'm gonna head up stairs here, and I'm going to come over here. We have a gun case. Shit, we have a shotgun and that in there. Oh my god, luck is like. Luck is basically a requirement at this point, then. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just push stuff into here for now. Um, yeah, I guess pretty much just take everything and just toss it in here. We'll just store everything that can fit. And we're going to go to the next, the four houses that we just visited. We're going to take everything we can and bring it into this house. So that way everything is kind of consolidated and together. That way I don't have to go from house to house to get my stuff. Um, all we have to do is what we can to survive here. We'll just empty out all of our bags and all that stuff. And I think this should be all the things that I have. Except for these things here, which we'll now put over there. So I don't have any bandages or anything, but that's fine. We shouldn't need them. You know what? I say that, I'm going to take them back. Because they barely weigh anything. So we're going to do that. I haven't even looted this house yet, but that's fine. Uh, I just want to focus on consolidating for right now. Okay. Let's actually open up our map. Oh, we need a, I don't have a pen anymore. Okay. Let's get started. So we have a vehicle, which is great. Wasn't my hood up before? Did it get pulled down or something? It's so rude. All right. We can close the door. We're going to take everything that is of use to us. So, um, I don't think those matter. So we have, we got crosswords, magazines, you know, I'll just take all of this. Why not? I can use that stuff to read and all that good jazz. Grab all this. Grab all of this.
Perfect. Um, from here, all these canned goods. Let's see if I can get them into the plastic bag. Excellent. Next up, we have... Uh, the plate doesn't matter. Used to dry yourself when wet. Sure, why not take that? Empty mug, take that. That. Do I need a fork? I don't know, I'll take it. Again, I don't really know quite yet what is good and what is not. So I'm going to just be taking everything and anything that I can here. Um, these are cooking utensils, but I, I don't... I don't know that I would need these for anything, right? Maybe if I was cooking on a grill, I would need tongs. So I guess I'll take the tongs. But I don't think I need the griddle pan or anything like that. Okay, so our problem is going to be the fresh and frozen food. I think I can, like, have it with me for a while without it going bad. Hopefully that'll be fine like that. I don't care about appearance stuff. Nothing in the dining room. I could come back there and disassemble stuff for a uh, carpentry experience, which we will need. Uh, another magazine, take a pencil. Soap. I saw this is junk I'm not gonna take. I don't think I need it. I think I need a plunger. Okay. Uh, let's take what I can, and I'm just going to move it over here to the bag, which doesn't matter. Because I think even if I put stuff in here, my weight here will go up too. So, I don't want that. All right. That's everything out of this house. Try to hit all of them if we can. Ideally, I'd like to uh, get everything and then hopefully. Oh crap, I can't come with the bag. Shit. Hello, sir. Come get your brains bashed in. What you got on you? Anything? Nothing. Okay. Alright, so we can't hop fences with bags. It just leads to ruin. It's fine. We didn't have keys to get into these two cars, right? It was specifically that we were having an issue with that, and that's why we were needing that stuff, right? So I'll just come into here and we'll help ourselves to all this lovely stuff. Oh, I love those canned goods. Yeah, we'll focus on stuff that needs refrigerated or that's frozen. Um, empty mug will take that. Bread knife will take spoon, I guess. What do we got here? Book, magazine, uh, dog goblin. We're not going to take that. There's a little room back here with some scrap metal in it. Perfect. Okay, head upstairs next. I will sort through and like remove stuff that I don't need that's like duplicates and stuff, but <coughs> for now, excuse me, thank you. Anything potentially useful we will be taking. Oh, I'm 
empty. Okay. One more house, then we can head back to our, our home base. Um, it's really wet out here. Look at the grass. It's all flooded. This is like a torrential downpour. We got another Zombino, though. A couple more, actually. Come on. Come on. How about you mind your own business, sir? Personal space, ever heard of it? Okay. Do I have anything useful? No. No. Give me this jacket. What about this lady up here? She has nothing I need. All right. Well, they're really coming out of the woodwork now, huh? I need you on the ground or dead, lady. Choose one. Okay. Uh, nothing again. And nothing again. All right. Head into this house. do the last bit of looting we need to do here. Do I need that to catch water? I don't think so. Meat cleaver, let's go ahead and grab that. We're just going to stockpile on pretty much anything that we can take. Okay, we're full. I'll still take a little bit more here. being a little overweight, I think it's fine. We're not going to suffer too much from it. Um, oh, the newspaper. I could use that. Got the scrap electronics. So much stuff to take. What about in here? Um, dead mouse. I don't want to take that. It gives unhappiness. I don't want to deal with it. What do we got in here? Crossword, pencil word search. I'll take it all. Okay. Moving right along. I don't want to stay out here too long. It is becoming night. About the medicine cabinet. Okay, already did that. Right ho. And the last place is just a belt and ooh, look, a briefcase. Can I actually like do that anywhere? I, I could do that, but I don't think that's gonna help me at all. Shoes and underpants. Okay. This place is looted. Let's get out of here. Get to our house. Put this stuff away. And then we'll uh just kind of start doing our thing. Now, I don't know how smart of a move this is going to be. Living in the middle of a kind of urban area like this. Or I guess suburban. Because the zombies are supposed to concentrate in urban areas. I would call this suburban. Since it's not like a huge area, right? But you never know. Is the door up there closed? I don't know. Oh, I don't have the stuff to do that right now. Let me just double check this door's closed. It is. Perfect. Okay. Let's head back upstairs. Actually, before we go upstairs, let's go to the fridge and the freezer. Okay. We need to store any frozen stuff in here. Fresh uncooked. Graves eggplant. Okay. Okay. Um, we have 
I guess all the stuff's in, uh, in here. Button shops. Pork shops. Processed cheese. We got the steak. Was that all the fresh stuff that I had? At least it needs to be frozen anyway. Another fresh stuff is like fruit and that kind of stuff. Okay. These need to go in there. The radish needs to go in there. All right, excellent. Um, let's 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 eat some grapes. You know. Have ourselves a nice little time with that. And then let's eat a radish as well. Why not? Just uh, get ourselves a little bit more full. Because maybe we can get that green mark if we do that. Or not, never mind. Over in the uh, dishes here, let's go ahead and we'll take a drink. I'm going to go ahead and fill all of the various items we have. Okay. So let's head upstairs where we are relatively safe, and we'll start putting stuff away. I'll sort stuff a little bit better later, but for now, I just want to focus on getting everything where it belongs. I had soy sauce there, but I don't think that matters too much. That was full. Right. No, that was not, though. Everything in here. Okay. All right. And the last little bit up here. We won't be able to store it all, but I'll store what we can. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's grab my bandages back. Let's grab the map back. Let's grab the towels. I'm gonna kind of sort things now by, you know, what kind of would go where, right? Um, oh fuck, we had lemons here. Give me those. That's not ideal. I'm gonna put like the medical stuff in the bathroom. Um, I'm just gonna collect rainwater. Contents can only be purified in a microwave. Hmm. Soap I'll take with me here. Tweezers, perfect. And for this stuff, had our water bottles. I'm gonna grab these sheets because I wanna use them immediately. Grab this map. This red pen, too. Excuse me? Okay. Uh, granola bar, flashlight, various different. I have here earbuds, chocolate soup, can opener, disinfectant, and bandages. Those are coming with me. Okay. Which room was the bathroom? This one right here. Perfect. Okay. So. I'm just going to take everything that I have. Because remember, we haven't looted this place quite yet, right? So I just want to take what is available. And then we'll sort through it. Okay, so. Bandages can go into here. Um... Sewing kit, I think I'll keep here. Tweezers will go into here. Uh, then we have our other stuff in this area. So our piece of bandages, our bath towels. Uh, put the dish towels in here too, why not? Um, 
Painkillers can go in here. Soap will go in here. Our other tweezers can go in here. I think that's everything for that. Okay. Oop. Go to the next room here. Grab all that. Grab that. Grab that. Okay. In here, we don't really have much but a tissue, huh? Okay. Blow my nose with that, I guess. Here's we have the downstairs bathroom. Okay. What's this? Bread and various assorted things. And take those. Ooh, cooking volume one, fishing volume one. Perfect. I actually might leave the uh, uh, books here. Because I'll probably want to read them by the TV while the TV lasts. I can leave the VHS tape in here too, since it's near a TV. That's fine. I'll leave the maps in here too, since it's like a bookshelf. I think that's fair. Okay, nothing's in that sack. I don't know why I keep looking at it. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to close all the curtains. That way we don't have zombies seeing us and trying to move their way in here, you know. I'll uh, add a sheet to it for the ones that do not have the... Uh, here. Perfect. I don't think there's any windows in here. Oh, there's one window here, actually. Am I out of sheets? I have one more sheet. Maybe it has to be in my main inventory, though. Oh, it has curtains, that's why. Okay. House is darker now, but... Okay, and that's the exit. Um... So the bathroom has a curtain, but not the... Not the kitchen, huh? It's really dark in here, but I think that's fine. Can I turn this on? There's some lights in here. Here we go. I don't suppose I can add, like, a curtain to the door or anything, right? No. That's unfortunate. Mail's rope. Ooh, a shovel! That will come in handy. Currently, at the moment. Now I can kind of consolidate it down into certain areas. Okay. I picked up something that was uh, fresh, right? Yeah. It's annoying when they like. Close the tabs I'm, I'm looking at, right? Really annoying. Okay. Can I look in this shelf here? So I think I'll put my canned food here. On like a nice little display shelf. I also put a can opener with them. That way, the can opener is always there and ready. Um, in the other shelf, I'll put other 
kind of like non-perishable stuff. Dried chickpeas. Unhappiness increases, and so does thirst. But it gives me a shit ton of calories. God dang. Okay. That's a thing, then. Um, any other food here? Rice? That's all for that. What about in my inventory here? Boolean cube. I don't think I have to keep those refrigerated, so let's go ahead and just put them in here. Chocolate doesn't require that. Crackers don't. Fried white beans can go into here. Marmalade can go into there. Peanut butter can go into there. Rice can go. All right, cool. That's everything. From here, anyway. I have to go back upstairs to grab fully everything. I guess beef jerky can go in there, too. I don't think beef jerky is going to spoil. Back to the canned goods, and we can store the rest of these cans in here. dog food in there too. Excellent. All right. Okay. And then in this uh, little chest here, I'm going to put uh, some of the perishable drinks, I think. Like beer and stuff like that. mac and cheese that I had. Forgot about that one. I can't fit the mac and cheese in there. Damn, okay. Yeah, it is getting about maxed on there. I guess I put the mac and cheese in here then. Can these notebooks be used for anything? I can write stuff on them, huh? Okay. Um, there we go. Fill all. Go ahead and wash all clothing. We're just going to get ourselves not bloody. Okay. Water's unlimited. Oh, right, because it hasn't shut off yet. Not to say. Crab sponge. Dang, he's going crazy with it. My god, I didn't think I had infinite clothing to wash. Okay, perfect. I think that's going to make all my clothing wet. Yeah, all my clothing's wet. Great, that's fine. Okay. Still have uh, this fresh bread. I think we should throw in here to keep fresh, I guess. I'm going to throw the other map into here. I'm throwing the maps in here because they're near the car. Um, I want to be able to refer to them sometimes, right? 
I would put like the crosswords and stuff in here too, but I want them upstairs where I'd be reading when I'm bored. Okay, so as things stand now, I think we have everything, except for that one window near the truck, kind of cordoned off, so we don't have too many problems here at this point. Um, so I think what we'll do is I'll, I'll wrap things up here for this video. We made some decent progress uh, without a bunch of zombies constantly in our face and everything. We've managed to get a home that hopefully lasts a little while. Um, but I think what I'm going to do between now and the next time I start recording, I'm going to do some sorting of my equipment. And I'm also going to go downstairs, turn on the TV, try to get some skill points from listening to it. And then also reading the, the books that I have, all of them that I can currently. That way we'll have those um, up and ready to go. So hopefully we can skip the mundane part of things and get to the fun stuff. So what I would like to do next time, I think, is continue to kind of branch out and expand some stuff. We might break down... Some things. I don't know if I can break them down with just a screwdriver or if I need a hammer. If I need a hammer, we'll go find one. And then I'll start breaking down so to get carpentry. If we can get carpentry, we can start actually fortifying my location by rather than having that row of hedges, we can put up some actual walls to kind of limit where the zombies can come in from, right? Because uh, I don't want them to be a you know, coming in from every direction, or at least from a huge one direction, because I don't think they can... Well, they could break down the fence that's surrounding the rest of the house, but if there's a way to get to me other than doing that, I think they'll try to do that. So um, we'll wrap things up here, and until next time, bye-bye.